Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time we're going to be talking about how to save your tyres during hour long races or races where you can't make a pit stop for quite some time. And I've noticed recently, especially in the CP races, um, the races that are like an hour long without a pit stop, I've been noticing I'm tended to come back at people during or towards the end of the race, people that have maybe used up their tyres too quickly. And I thought it would be a, a good thing to, um, you know, try and show people how I managed to keep my tyres in check and sort of my whole strategy and my way around things. Um, this can be helpful, of course, as well on the consoles, PC, it doesn't really matter. Same sort of thing. Um, and yeah, it's, it's very easy for me personally. I see a lot of it all the time. It's very easy to really push your car in the opening laps of the race and just trying to make sure you're keeping up with the pack or trying to make sure you're, you know, one of the fastest on track. And although that is good to, you know, sort of try and gap the pack or get away with the leaders, you also have to think about the damage that you're doing to your tires early on in the race before you've even got sort of halfway, you know? Um, and again, when you do use up your tires, you're going to lose a lot more time than actually trying to preserve your tires early on to make sure you, you still have tires left at the end of the race. But let's get stuck into this video, guys. And I'm trying to aim for around about 50 likes. Hopefully we can do it. But anyway, it's Cryptic TMG. Let's get stuck into this. So I'm going to be starting off this race where um, I've got it on 100% AI, 100% um, aggression. And I'm just going to push for the first four or five laps i'm just literally just gonna push flat out um not really care about the tires just go as quick as i can and you'll see basically um I'll, I'll check at the end i'll check the amount of wear on my tires and i'll do it twice with the first with the first um, version of the race i'm gonna do i'm just as i said i'm just gonna pretty much just push and then you're gonna see what i tend to do in races at the moment um, and see the difference between the tire wear and even if i'm only gonna do four or five laps I'm actually running the full amount of fuel just to give a, give ourselves a actual comparison of what it feels like in the race. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see the differences and the, just the little differences in the way you drive. Um, again, you can make setup changes that will make a difference in the amount of tire wear you're getting, but this setup is something I actually pre-made. So the setup I know was pretty good already. And I just wanted to, you know, on the driving side of things, how I could personally drive differently to, um, keep my tires in a, in a better state throughout the duration of the race and um yeah i know you know sometimes people think it's not really racing if you're preserving tires sort of how it is in f1 where you just you know the guys are not actually going flat out as fast as they can but it's just the name of the game it is it is what it is and at the moment um on this lap anyway i'm pretty much just pushing first lap i always quite find I, I tend to struggle a little bit first lap when the car is not at the correct temperatures and stuff i tend to get a lot of sliding and you don't really want to be sliding the car too early because you can create graining and then obviously you're going to be carrying that with you throughout your whole stint i've really missed the first part of that chicane but quite aggressive trying to get on the throttle um managing to pull away from the ai the ai don't seem actually that fast around here at the moment track temps about 37 optimum i believe so um, quite hot, I wanted it quite hot, sort of a, a decent range so you guys can get an idea. And as I said, I'm gonna drive, just keep pushing, um, braking, gearing down quite aggressively into turn one. And Spain's always been one of them tracks where it can go so wrong if you use your, your tires too much because of, you know, there's a lot of long right-handers where there's a lot of stress on the left-hand side of the car. So you always got to be mindful on how hard you are pushing through a lot of the right-handers. But anyway, um, as I said before, this is my, you know, this is the, the time where I will be pushing. I'm just trying to gap the cars behind as much as possible. Um, using up all the tires, I'm not thinking about preserving anything. I'm just going, just racing. And again, when you're online, it's very, very easy to to get into this mode especially if you're racing someone or someone's just ahead of you you really want to keep up you don't want to waste time or, or lose time when the guys are ahead so um again you always have to remember you have to do your own race and if you feel like for instance you're, you're right on the edge right 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 on the edge just make sure that you're not you know sliding that that is the one thing i can guarantee just kills your tires even just by you know touching the gravel just a little bit these things take more and more off your tires more than probably what you think and um 
yeah, it, it's going to cost you by the end of the race, especially if there's no pit stop, man. And I, I, I'm so used to like doing races with pit stops. So when I started doing the CP races, I'm like, well, an hour race, no pit stop. Okay, okay. You know, let's get stuck into this. So my first race, I just pretty much just started hammering it. And then I was sliding around. My race pace dropped off completely. And after that, I thought, no, 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 I can't be doing that. And again, it's going to help me for longer races, you know, races where I'm in with ACR and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely is something that um, you need to look into, especially if, if the temperatures are really hot. You want to be making sure your tyres are in a, in a good state, man. Um, I've just skipped it forward uh, now to the end of lap two. You can see my first lap was a 44.9, second lap was a 44.8. So I'm quite consistent at the moment. I'm just really, really just pushing on going as fast as I can, trying to keep the times up as fast as I can, not really caring too much about anything else. And again, you see me going in the gravel there in, in, in the last sector. I was actually, I think I was a little bit up just before that. And I'm starting to throw the car around now. At the end of the lap, the tires are starting to heat up. So I'm sliding a little bit into that chicane um, just because of the way I'm pushing the car through the corners before. I'm not really holding anything back and I hit a 45-0 which is still not too far off like a temp, two temps off of my fastest lap so we're still lapping within the same sort of range um, so at least the consistency is good as I said this setup I actually need to build on Motec so I probably will do a setup video for this setup um, at a later, later stage but um, yeah still managing to find time the car actually does feel quite good but I, I am starting to notice when I push it through the corners really hard, you can see the temperature building and building and building. And what's happening is towards the end of the lap, when I'm going through the, the little chicane at the end and all the little tight nitty gritty corners, I'm starting to slide and the back end started to step out and I'm starting to have to catch the car, which is becoming more and more difficult. And bearing in mind, this is only four laps into the race. So um, again, you can imagine that hour long race at Catalunya, I believe is around about 31 laps. So if I'm already sliding on lap four, and by the time I get to, I don't know, say lap 20, you know, that last sector is really gonna be a struggle, you know? So um, these are just the, the little things that, you know, I feel like a, a lot of people, especially online, because on ACC, there is tons and tons of people that are fast in quality. And you can go on a CP server and sometimes you qualify eighth, ninth, 10th, you know, there'll be a load of fast people in there. But the majority, I would say, um, apart from the, the you know the guys who know what they're doing, the majority they fall by the wayside when it comes to the race for whatever reason. Um, you can see again as I get to the chicane, I've got so much oversteer, back end stepping out as I'm getting on the throttle. Um, still not too bad of a lap, but I'm having to fight the car more just to get these lap times. I managed to do a 45-0 again, and um, yeah push on and then yeah that was that was my little five or four lap run or wherever it was we will have a quick look at the times to see what sort of times i was getting you can see all my times are within sort of two temps um my best sectors probably would have got us maybe a point a point seven at, at, at the very best so you say a point seven was probably the best that we could achieve our average was probably around a 44 and nine I think that was probably around our average maybe um, but yeah as I said the car felt pretty good the setup was pretty good um, now we're gonna check the tire wear you can see um, there's no graining or anything like that yet but four laps in and you can have a look at how much I've already taken off the tires and uh, yeah it's uh, <laughs> I've definitely gone like super aggressive and just keeping my foot down just making sure that I'm just pushing all the way and already if you think this is just four laps in and there's another 50 minutes to go in this race that's you know it's I've, I've done quite a lot in a short space of time which which is not what you want to do so um now we're going to start the second race and I'm going to show you the points of where I'm driving differently to the first and where I sort of you know where I give up the time to to make sure I have tire preservation. So again, off the start, and this start was a little bit more tricky because if you guys don't know, the Aston Martin is terrible off the start. And even the AI taking advantage, the guy in the AMG, I squeeze him a little bit, just, just so I can outbreak him for turn one. Because I knew that once I get in the lead, I should be pretty fine, because I, I don't think the AI was that fast. And not on this lap, on the first lap, I think I will just try and push, just try and get the gap up so 
I'm not getting dive bombed by AI or anything like that. Um, but through these corners, I'm going to start braking earlier and I'm just going to hold, hold on to the car in certain gears just a little bit longer so when I get my foot down it's not too bad so coming into lap one now and we're gonna push on I've already managed to create the gap away from the cars behind and yeah through through turn three I actually wait a little bit longer to get on the throttle so I'm not really burning up the tire too much again I hold the car in third gear for quite long then go down to second and I kind of wait for the car to really straighten up before I get on the power just because I'm just trying not to use up too much of the tire earlier on um, again through this corner this is another corner where if you get on the throttle too quick the back end steps out you start sliding and that's just the beginning of the end for your tires and I feel like uh, Spain has got or Barcelona has got a lot of corners where it's very easy to get your car sideways another corner that is really hard in the left hand tires and again I think I'll wait just a tad bit longer to get on the throttle so the back end of the car is more settled, settled knowing that I can go quicker but knowing that you know I'm going to need my tires for an hour so it's all about you know keeping your tires in a, in a decent window man because I feel like you can just you can thrash them you can maybe get three three seconds down the road but I feel like once your tires are done you're going to lose more than that that three or so seconds you've gained from just pushing for the first 10 minutes if you know what I mean so um yeah we try to keep it as calm as possible coming out of the last chicane because I was actually getting a bit leery towards the end of my my first stint um but now we're gonna push on um jump forward you can see your first lap 45 8 so we're about about nine tenths down so far on what we did before now onto the second lap you can see we're like a tenth and a half up again we're not going to push it too hard for this corner we're just literally rolling it in um, you can see we're definitely not as fast as last time definitely not as fast but um it's whether you can continue to lap at this speed because it, it's sort of a it's a sort of a hot lapping against an endurance sort of mentality and it all depends on one how good your setup is if you've got a really good setup and you're someone who knows exactly what you're doing all the ins and outs then you can lap at an extremely fast pace for for the majority of the race i look at nils naldrix as a example his race pace is ridiculous and he is able to keep that pace up for pretty much the whole entire race you know when you can when you can come across that sort of uh when you have that sort of ability then by all means you definitely won't even need to be watching this video but um down into the 45 free so about half a second off of our fastest lap that we did um and yeah giving up half a second knowing that we can push on even more but we're gonna see by the end of the video how much how much am i actually saving on the tires is it even worth it or should i just completely just push and just go crazy and just try and keep up with everyone because at this stage if i was in a cp race i'd probably be getting pulled away from so we're coming around towards the end of the lap now and lap's about to be a 45.5, 45.6. So again, we've dropped more time again. I think at this point we've been doing, what did we do? A 45, 45, zero, I think. So we've lost about another six temps to, to our first run. So we pro right now, I'd say we'd probably be around maybe maybe about three seconds behind our, our previous attempt um, but we, we're gonna keep going and see what times we can pick up again I'm breaking later not later I'm breaking earlier I'm holding the car in third gear for longer so the car's more settled when I gear down into the corner I'm not sort of banging down the gears too aggressively I'm really waiting to get the car straightened up before I you know apply uh, maximum pressure on the throttle again some of the corners i'm just rolling it in i'm not trying to stress the car too much just rolling it in making sure i can get a steady exit no sliding because that's just that's just the beginning of the end again with this corner as well i don't actually push through this corner anywhere near what i was doing the first time around um and i could feel by the end of the lap i wasn't having the same issues that i was having through the through the hairpin the tyres didn't feel as hot, the rear tyres didn't feel as slidey and it was much more settled to sort of get the car to react 
out of that chicane whereas before I started to fight the car to get it out of the chicane but again I'm on I'm on um, par with a 45 free at the moment and you'll see through the last chicane there's no sort of oversteer it's easily comfortable um, so this lap's going to be 45 free 45 4 again you know similar lap time to what my fastest lap time was so um, if we go now and have a look at the sort of times I was getting. You can see my fastest lap is a 45.3. I had a couple of wayward laps um, where I made little mistakes, but I could run my pace at around a 45.3, 45.4 without too much stress and just trying to keep the tires in. And now let's look at the difference in the tire wear. And you can already see, um, especially on the left hand side, the tires are just not getting worked up as much, anywhere near as much as the uh, the first set and bearing in mind this is only four laps into the race and already there's a difference in tire life so add another 20 laps to that and it's going to be looking somewhat different this is the the original tires um that you can see you can see it on the on the front um left on the right hand side 2.79 um use the tire quite a lot just absolutely just flooring it not caring and when you go back and watch the other tire set, you can see we actually managed to save quite a lot of tires. So bearing in mind, this is, you know, quite early on, early on in the race. As the laps go past, as the laps go on, this is going to be your, these are going to be your tires, man. In 20 laps time, you're going to be, you know, multiplying the difference between the two tires. So yeah, that's what I've been doing at the moment. It's been helping me, especially towards the end of races really being able to save tires and at the end i feel like i've still got someone to fight with so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video man i hope it helps you out script the tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace